Hey y'all, today's video is all about Easter decor DIYs and brunch ideas. I host brunch at my house every year, and so I wanted to share some of the things that I'm doing for Easter brunch this year. And so <laughs> that's what I'm sharing. Um, I don't I don't know what else I was gonna say. You can hear the I sell stickers on Etsy. If you didn't know, I do. I sell stickers on Etsy and some are printing out right now. And you know what? I've never done a DIY video on that. So if you'd be interested in learning how to make stickers and sell them on Etsy, leave me a comment below. But otherwise, let's get to the Easter decor DIY ideas and brunch ideas. All right, let's do it. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I've got some super last minute ideas for Easter brunch, but they are also super easy. Let's kick it off with this easy DIY. Not sure you can call it that, but grab some green utensils. I found mine at Walmart and also grab some orange napkins also found at Walmart. And as you can see, they are cheaper than at Dollar Tree. And you will also grab some ribbon. For some reason, I'm focusing on the green, but I actually recommend you buy the orange also from Walmart. I am making some carrot napkin bundles. My sister, Gina, Hi, Gina, if you're watching, saw this on Turtle Creek Lane's Instagram and sent it to me. And I thought, well, those are super cute. So I decided to make them. And all you have to do is take a fork, knife, and spoon and lay it diagonally on the napkin. Wrap the napkin around the utensils, kind of like you're wrapping up a burrito, <laughs> and tie it up with the orange ribbon. I mean, you can't get much easier than that. And this is totally something that you can do last minute. These are so easy to make and they turn out so cute and you can put these in any type of container, but I'm putting mine in this super cute carrot bucket. And let me show you how quick you can make that. Now for this next DIY, we're going to head to Dollar Tree to pick up our supplies. This bucket is from Dollar Tree and all I did, and I'm telling y'all, this is so, so easy and you can do this last minute. I just painted the bucket white and then I took some carrots that I got from Dollar Tree and I hot glued them all the way around the bucket. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Lisa, there aren't any carrots left in Dollar Tree because it's so close to Easter. No worries at all. You could use wood cut out carrots or you could make some out of cardboard or make some out of fabric. It is so easy to do and it turns out so cute. Pop those carrot napkin bundles in and you are set for brunch. Now this one may not be quite as fast, but I promise it is pretty easy to make. So I took this large tag sign from Dollar Tree and I'm using the back. And don't worry, if you don't have this particular shape, any sign would do. I'm staining with Waverly Wax in the color Antique and I'm using a damp scrap cloth to apply it. It dries really pretty quickly off camera. I have a picture for reference, but I'm using a small paintbrush to kind of sketch out where the rabbit will be. You could have both ears pointing up, both ears pointing down. This is kind of a whatever your preference is kind of thing. You just do the very top of the bunny head, like the forehead and the ears. I didn't dare try a bunny face because all of mine, well, they turn out looking maniacal. So I just didn't even try that. The next step is to add some pink to help define the ears. And then I added a letter H and the shape of a carrot. I did this in white first since the sign was stained. I would have had to do more coats of paint if I didn't prime it first with some white paint. So I then painted the H purple. I painted the corn, uh, carrot orange and the leaves several different shades of green because I was you know, trying to give it some dimension there. And I did add some dimension to the carrot by taking a brown color and kind of, you know, like marking some lines like you might see on a carrot. And I outlined the H and the carrot with a white paint pen. And then I made a bow out of some pastel colored ribbon. Again, this is all super easy to make. And I'm not a professional artist. I just kind of do it until I think it looks good. And for the bow, I'm just making circles, putting them together, squeezing the middle and wrapping some jute twine around it. Y'all know I use this grapevine wreath year round, but I freshened it up for spring by adding some greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby. I put the bunny sign in the middle of the wreath and I added some flowers that I got from Pop Shelf and I hung it on my front door. Super cute, budget friendly, and very easy to make. I hope you're enjoying the ideas that I'm sharing so far, but I want to also let you know that I run a crafting group on Facebook. I'm stumbling over more. It's I run a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. The link is below. It's free. It's free to join. Who doesn't like free? So um, if you like free and you like crafting, join the group. Post what you're working on. We'd love to encourage and support you on your crafting journey. 
Okay, so what I was going to do, by the way, there's Captain, but this is the cardboard box I was going to use. And what I was originally going to do was to cut out the front piece, turn it around, and paint the bunny thing on that and cut holes in that. But what I think I'm gonna do is use craft paper. I hope I have craft paper, by the way. <laughs> use craft paper and just cover the front and paint it and cut out the thing. And then that way, I mean, I'm still, you know, having to do that, but I'm not having to cut the cardboard. And then that way I can just leave the cardboard standing just like this. And then when they toss in the bean bags, it has somewhere to go, if that makes sense. Instead of trying to have to prop it or figure out how to make it stand up or lean or whatever. I've already got it covered. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This one, I literally, like, I don't know if I said it just a second ago, but I literally made this yesterday. So I know it is so easy to do. I'm basically cutting out some craft paper to cover one side of the box. And if you don't have a box like this, you can use other cardboard that you have on hand or buy some like foam board from Dollar Tree. You could use just the paper and not have the cardboard, but I wanted something to kind of, you know, hold it up on its own and be okay when bean bags are thrown at it. So even though earlier I said I wouldn't have to cut the cardboard, I meant like one side of the box off. I traced out a bunny shape and I put a circle on the belly and a circle for the mouth and I cut, I had to cut those out. So I kind of pushed the scissors through the paper and the cardboard and it went all and I went all the way around the circle kind of like I was like perforating it I guess you could say I mean I don't yeah I don't know how else to say but I just kind of punched holes and perforated it so with this bunny carrot toss game you're going to need some carrot bean bags to throw so let's make those real quick I took a wooden carrot shape from the pack I got from Dollar Tree and I enlarged that on a copier until it was the size that I wanted now if you don't have a carrot shape or you don't have a copier to enlarge that shape don't worry about that you could really just sketch it out and um, the size that you want. Then you're going to cut however many carrot shapes you want in orange felt. Two shapes for each carrot is what you're going to need and Dollar Tree usually carries the felt but they didn't have any when I went so I got mine from Hobby Lobby. You're also going to cut out the felt, the leaf, <laughs> the leaf part of the carrot in green felt. I don't know why words are hard right now. <laughs> then you're going to hot glue around the edge of one carrot shape but leave the top open and then place another carrot shape on top. You're kind of making, kind of like a pillow. And then you're going to, to fill the bean bags. You're gonna, I bought a bag of lentils. Now I bought a large bag because obviously I have no, no functioning knowledge of the mass and volume <laughs> that was needed. And so um, I do like lentil soup though. So since it's Easter this weekend, I think I'll take some leftover ham and make some lentil soup, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, after you fill the carrot bean bags up, you're going to run a bead of hot glue along the inside of the carrot and hot glue on the leaf shape. And then you're going to run a bead of hot glue on, on the front of the leaf shape. And, you know, then you're going to attach that carrot all together. I know this is kind of not making sense, but you're like closing it up. You, you'll, I think you'll kind of get it when you're doing it yourself. Socks is inspecting my handiwork and I think overall for the time and effort that I put in this actually turned out pretty cute. You could use the same idea to make like a pot of gold around St. Patrick's Day and make gold um, coin bean bags or maybe around Valentine's Day make a large heart with smaller heart holes and make lip shaped bean bags and kind of toss those in. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. It could be really fun. This is just a quick and easy project to do for any holiday, really. Like I said, I literally made this in one day. And if you're finding my content fun and informative, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single video. I post weekly and I share tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you live a more creative life. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. Yes, I'm still printing. Still printing. <laughs> I've got a lot of sticker orders, actually, so, um, which is a great thing, right? But um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you have any brunch ideas, brunch decor things that you do, leave me a comment below, let me know. And um, cause I'd love to see what you guys do for Easter brunch and decor a tea, yes. Anyways, I think that's it. So if you wanna follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.